not getting this, not getting this at all. Transparent, they said. Doesn't look transparent to me. Lovely lines on it, nice legs. But it's definitely a honey gold colour, it's not transparent. Oh, transparency! That's what it is. Welcome to another uh, whiskey review from Malt U Musings as part of um, Maltman, Mike and Friends. And uh, as you may have guessed, this is Compass Box's Spice Tree. Uh, quite an interesting whiskey with a bit of history. In a lovely bottle, lovely box. So um, Spice Tree bought this to market in about 2005. Sorry, Compass Box bought this to market in about 2005. A um, guy called John Glazer uh, founded the company and he's the master blender. So they um, they brought this out and went down to rave reviews from everybody. The problem was the Scottish Whisky Association wasn't very happy with it. And it was down to the way that they actually got the spice and the colour into the whisky was they inserted some French oak staves into the casks. So it's like inner staves, so the inner bits inside the cask. Um, the S3 way weren't happy about this, um, threatened to sue them, so they had to take it off the market. So what Compass Box then decided to do was rather than put staves inside the cask, is they made the barrel ends of the cask out of um, some French oak uh, with different toasting levels on them. And uh, that gave the whiskey its, its lovely colour and uh, its spiciness. Okay, let's see what we can see. So as I said, it's a lovely uh, honey colour. Um, sort of a light gold, not transparent. Wonderful nose on it. So I'm getting, um, there's, there's quite a lot of spice there, different spices. Um, not as much as you would think from the name, but um, there's cloves, there's ginger, there's, uh, there's maybe a bit of cinnamon in there. But I'm also getting a lot of honey, a lot of vanilla. Maybe some candle wax. That might have just been the missus burning some candles earlier, but I'm sure there's something in here. So this is a 46% um, whiskey. Uh, it's non-chill filtered, it's non-coloured. It's also a, a, a NAS. Um, but from the information that Compass Box do put on their website, which is very transparent, um, they tell you it's made up of three whiskies. Um, all about 10 year old um, that are first matured in American oak casks and then in their special casks with the um, French oak ends on them and they quite helpfully provide a little diagram on their website to explain how they do it so I'll, uh, I'll give it a little read so 60% of this whiskey is Klein Leash 20% uh, is Dalyuan and about 20% is Tynemic. I hope I pronounced that right, I'm not sure on that last one. So as I said, these are all about 10 years old. And you're getting nice um, flavours from that um, blend of them three Highland malts. So about 10 years old, they're then uh, blended together, batted together, um, and then they go into four different casks. So as it says here, um, one is 25% uh, of it is vanilla toasted, 22% is infrared toasted, 32% is mocha toasted, and the final 21% is just the standard barrel without any toasting. So what does toasting mean? Well, I had a little uh, research into this. Oh, it's lovely, this. So toasting is where the, the barrel um, is set on fire or burnt through in an oven or something like that. Um, and depending on how long it's um, burnt or toasted for, um, gives you different colours in the in the barrel. So it can go from a, a light brown to a dark brown. Um, if it goes a bit further than that, it's, it can even go 
black and it can be set on fire so uh, when it's finished it looks more like a campfire that's gone out that's more charming rather than um, toasting lots of bourbons use um, use charred casks so if you if you char a cask what you're doing really is um, you're getting more uh, aggressive flavors you're getting some toffee you're getting some honey on it uh, by toasting it to different degrees what you're actually doing is um, trying to mellow out the the tannins that are in the in the wood and you're also releasing the valine that's um that's in the cellulose in the wood where we get our vanilla from so you get vanilla flavors and you also get the spice okay very spicy Oh, so on the tongue you, you get, it's quite a syrupy, treacly feel to the whiskey, it's quite thick. Um, loads and loads of spice all over your tongue, but there's also an underlying honey, um, sweet honey, maybe custardy honey, um, lemon. Very smooth as well, very nice. Quite a long finish. I'm still still getting uh, spices coming up there. Um, all sorts of things in there: ginger, ginger cinnamon, uh, maybe some cloves. It's all sort of biting the, the side of my tongue. It's very nice. It's quite appreciative the the difference between the the smoothness and the sweetness of the whiskey but also the spices there as well and they both sort of hit you at the same time mingle around on your tongue very nice very worth uh, worthwhile trying this um so it's 46 percent it's about 46 pound it's quite a round number um you get it uh most good online retailers um worth trying if you can if you can find it bottle slunge Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that and click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.